Oh, typical malls in the Philippines, super loud. Still in Iloilo though. I had to go to the mall to pick up a couple things over the hotel across the street and we dropped off our suitcase here, which is really cool. They have a traveler area and we got to pay 30 pesos to hold our suitcase and they have a van that goes to the airport. So I got a flight to BGC tonight. We're going to leave Iloilo. I like it, but I'm going to go see BGC. Let's see if we can pick up our bag. They are 30 pesos. I don't know if it's 30 pesos or 30 pesos per hour. We're going to find out soon. But pick it up and uh, find a van at the airport. Hello, can I pick up my bag? Okay. There you have it. Into the airport. Right beside the traveler's area, across the street from my hotel. Beautiful. Let's go see who's going to the airport right now. Not a lot of signs, is there? City proper? No. Oh, we could have got the city proper and everything here. No, airport. Where's the airport? airport uh, this one. Fun. This fun? Airport. Yeah, airport. How much it cost me? One ten. Oh, no front seat? Oh, can you use? Oh, okay, good. I pay now? Pay now? Yes. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Oh, does he need help? How do I fit this? I don't think I can do it. You okay? It's okay. A little bit close quarters. That's what happens when we take cheap Charlie van. How long did it take to get there, you know? How long did it take to get to the airport? Um, 13 minutes. Okay. 30 to 45. Okay. That was a quick trip. Lilo Lilo Airport, 110 peso on the sardine can. Yes. Not bad, not bad, huh? See if we find our uh, pass today. Manila. Yeah. Me, sir. Thank you. There we go. Either we go to Manila. So, Let's see how many security checks we have. Everything here? No? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go see if we can get out of here. Where is the gates? I'm not even sure where the gate is. Bag drop and then... Oh, gate lounge right there. Gate Lounge. Okay. I can do that. So, I got a 710 flight. Low is at 630. Right now it's 340 off the top. I don't think they have a lounge or it's even worth going to the lounge to be honest. So, I don't want to waste a lounge pass on this. I already ate. Probably find a charger. It's not very busy. Maybe find a couple snacks in here. Let's go check out Ilo, Ilo Airport. I'm assuming this is the domestic side. 
Yeah, international, domestic. Let's see. How are you? Hello. Not many people here. Oh, look at that. I think I'm already too fat to eat cookies and crackers, but I wonder if there's food inside because I would like, I mean, it is four hours, right? Water or something, but I can't take water through here. So. Is there uh, shops inside? Is there shops inside? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Do you have body pasta? Yeah, I have one. Okay, sure. Here, Asia, sir. It's what time? It's okay, sir. Only body pasta. Huh? It's body pasta. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Another security. Oh. Very easy. I mean, domestic security here is not tough or difficult. They make it easy. Purposely, I'm sure. Oh, this, is, this place smells good. 15 peso for a little snack. It smells really good in here. It smells fresh, really fresh. Let's see what else is here. We got three hours, so we're gonna have to space our time out. We're having a sleep if I eat too much. Oh. It smells good too. And it looked good. Oh yeah, there's lots of food options, Ilo Ilo, no problem. Lots of food options. I've been eating a lot of these lately. I don't know what they are, but these corn chips, I, I think there's way too many calories in them for me. Oh, they even have beer here. Not bad, not bad. I like it. I've never seen this beer before. What is this? Oh, San Miguel Light in a different can. It's a different looking can. White with yellow. And this one is silver with blue. Oh, Pilsner. Oh, no, light. I don't understand. Different cans. Same beer. Let's see where we're going here. We're boarding. Manila. Manila, Ido. If you have to ask for my ID, I came through the door, I came through security, I came through the check-in, and I have yet to produce an ID, only my boarding pass on my phone. So we'll see if they let me on the plane without my ID. I have it, but they haven't asked. This will be interesting. So they did ask to look at it, but that's about it. Scan the boarding pass. They took a quick look at the passport and I walked by. Domestic flight in the Philippines. Not, not hard, not tough to do. Here we are, BGC. We just arrived at Hotel 101 and right outside, this great little food market here, or all these shops anyway. I did not expect this. It's like I went from the Two different sides of the track. Beautiful. Beautiful, huh? Sometimes I just can't help it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a good hotel to stay. This guy's selling cow feet and pig feet. Definitely gonna get ourselves some fried chicken and beer down here somewhere. Maybe not today, but we will. Maybe we will today, I don't know. Remember, this is Manila. A little tougher here. You gotta be a little more careful. Might try to prove that theory wrong, but there's a lineup outside there, why? We gotta know why everybody wants this food. Something is... Wow. Everybody wants the bread. Is it a famous place? Famous? Yeah? 
Wow. All the people in there, huh? It's a hell of a lineup. Or, or are they waiting for? Oh, they're waiting for a doll. Oh, they're not the famous place. They're waiting for rides. Wow. Oh, no. I thought the restaurant was famous. That guy just went along with me. Let's see. Oh, that's some spice. <laughs> Jeez. Looks like we got a show, some music, live music. I like that. I didn't bring much money, so we won't be out here too long tonight. Last time I went to the bank, I went to the BDO. They were only letting me take out 5,000 peso, which is about $100 US. And But they gave it to me all in hundreds. I've never had that before. Look at that, unlimited wings. Well, last time we were disappointed with it. Ah, I really like this spot so far. It's a good one. I can spend a couple days here anyway. I don't know if I'm going to spend more than... I got three, three days booked at that hotel. But my flight isn't for uh, six or seven days, I think, six days. So I have to book another three or four, I don't know, whatever. So I don't know what we're gonna do, but we could go home early. I don't wanna go home to 40 degree heat though. By then right now it's 40 degrees, so. But it looks like at the end of uh, the beginning of next week, it should be a lot better, 33, 34, I can handle that. Bad. So stay away from BGC, go the other way, and look what you find. Beautiful women. Oh my goodness. They lock their eyes sometimes. And I forget what I'm saying. I think that's it. We're getting pretty deep here, but looks like everybody's walking down here because there's probably a lot of homes down here, the lo a lot of local homes away from the hotels and BGC itself, because the workers are up there, obviously. They're working in the malls. There's a lot of malls up there, so let's go back. Without getting hurt. It's gonna be a good look uh, tomorrow in the daytime, for sure. I can't drink liquor. Sorry. Thank you. See the boys? You know, don't listen to everything on social media. I haven't seen any of the problems that they say are here. Just don't see them. They're so welcoming. As long as you're nice and you talk to them. Don't be nasty like some of the guys that were in my comments today on one of the videos. One nasty guy calling me a sleaze. You know, I left that comment up on the video about Ormoc when I went to the market. And I actually pinned it to the top. But I deleted all of his other nasty videos because he, he wrote a bunch of nasty things about the locals in the videos. It's just keyboard warriors. You know? Beautiful ladies, huh? Good local area though. I have a little food down here tomorrow maybe. I mean I've already eaten twice today. I thought I knew my I knew my flight would be late. There's not a Manila flight I've taken that hasn't been late. Arrival or late departure, so I'm always cautious of that, so I just eat before I get on. In most cases. I wouldn't want to have to walk up that hill every day. I asked the security at the hotel if there's anywhere I go food park and he said no. I, I looked out the door and there uh, I saw all this. I said I go there. He says, oh no, no. I don't understand. I wasn't going to listen to him. One day I might get in trouble with this, but I don't know. Until that day, 
guess I have to learn by fire. I am enjoying it. I couldn't recreate half these situations. And these experiences I'm having. the hotel here that we're staying at, Hotel 101. You can see the, the SM Aura Premier over there, big SM uh, mall with the higher end stores. There's a bunch of other malls in the whole area of BGC. So this road right here is the, is the edge of BGC, but it's in the middle of BGC. So we can go either way and basically walk the whole thing, which I like. We got a 7-Eleven in the bottom. Let's take a nightly walk over here. First impressions are good so far anyway. We got a big bus station here. Over the top. Which I might take a bus somewhere, I don't know. Maybe. I was not impressed. Hello. Me? Always there. Hey guys. No. <laughs> I like that. This was where the bus station was, I think. I looked at it from above, so. Yeah, bus station here. So we have all the options to go everywhere on this island. Or anywhere in Manila. Wow, look at the people coming out at 9 o'clock at night. This is 9, 9.30 at night? In the middle of the week? Look at this. It's just busy. Really busy. I haven't got any orientation of what's where and where's what, so I'm gonna check that out. Really clean though. Oh, it's PGC. They spend a lot of money here. Trying to attract some higher end tourists and visitors, expats. A lot of high end business here, I guess they're paying a lot of big taxes and expensive condos around, which I was considering doing an Airbnb. But, you know, first time in an area, I just, I, I usually shy away from Airbnbs. I get more service in a hotel. My hotel has a gym and a pool and all the other stuff, so I'm good for, I can last there no problem for a while. After all the fried chicken, I definitely need a gym. Okay, so I think we're going to, I think a couple coffee shops in there, Starbucks and Bose. I'm sure Starbucks is in that place. There's a couple more around here. Every big corner has one now up here. Just the traffic is ridiculous. So I'm sure we're going to be taking motorbikes and not taxis to get anywhere here. Nice people though, huh? Yeah. I don't know. There's Starbucks right up there. Was not letting that happen. It was your turn. Did you see what happened? Yeah, it was your turn. Yes. You have to wait. He don't want you to have your turn, does he? <laughs> yes. I like that. This man stands up for his rights. But they ignore pedestrian rights. Yes. Yes. Green light means to say. Green light means go. Yes. Lazy, but you hold up. 
Uh, traffic man. Traffic man. Yes. He wasn't a traffic man today. He was a traffic woman. <laughs> yes. He was just a traffic man. He's not a traffic man. He's a traffic woman. He's not a traffic man. Yeah, it's okay. Life goes on, right? Hello. Oh. Hello. Thank you. You see what happened? Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it. Because they know people will cross. Yeah. But they do. Everybody's in a hurry. Except for me. Where are you going? I'm just going. You're, I just. You drink? Huh? You drink. Uh, Only or? San Miguel. Only real beer. You come with me, I will help you. Oh, 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 I can't handle. I can't handle the Filipino drinker. Yes. I can't keep up. I need to say that. Three to one. Okay, if you if you are willing to come with me. No, I can't go tonight. I gotta meet my friend. Yes. And my friend coming in from the hotel. I will. I will. I know. Meet my my. My wife. And oh. my children, I want them to meet you. In okay. My place. You want to come with me? I, I, not today. Can what? I can I give you WhatsApp? What, what do you say? You know WhatsApp? You have WhatsApp? No. You don't I have WhatsApp? Have, no. Why not? No. My 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 wife calling that I have. Okay. To go take picture of this WhatsApp. Take picture of this. One of your kids have WhatsApp. I you find me tomorrow or the next day. Okay. I take vlogging where you live. Okay. The man wants me to go to his house tonight to drink Red Horse. Hmm, I'm not going to do that, but I did give him my WhatsApp. He doesn't have WhatsApp, but his sons are older in their mid to late 20s. So, I'm sure if they want WhatsApp and they understand, they're going to get in touch with me. And I gave my YouTube, so they can find me, no problem, right? I'm sure we'll figure this out. A couple local contacts would be really good to get into the outside areas. He wasn't happy about that traffic cop though. <laughs> I didn't want to rile him up too much, but I gotta go. I just wanted to get him going a little bit. Yeah, the malls are not my thing. The malls are a necessity for certain things, but they're not my thing to hang out. I'd rather hang out in the streets in the hot weather than in the mall in the air conditioning just because I, I learn, I see, and I communicate a lot more. She's trying not to smile behind that mask. Lots of security here though. So much of it. Anyway, we'll be back. I think it's time to call in. I've had a long travel day, so we're going to call a night tonight and we're going to get out to BGC and uh, hit it hard tomorrow. We'll see. Look at this, it's beautiful, huh? They spent a lot of money on this mall. This is one of the higher end ones, is what I understand. So. I guess they would. It's got the exact same darn stores in it as everywhere else, but, you know, Marks and Spencer's, all U.S. brands, but whatever, right? H&M, Starbucks, it's all the same. So, till tomorrow, unless something interesting happens tonight that I just can't resist. I think 7-Eleven will be like any other, though, so we'll check it out tomorrow. Maybe we'll meet with our new friend.